Are you listening? Damn. What's good, everyone? And it is Christmas Day. Well, at least the day that I'm uploading this video, it's a Christmas Day. So, you've done the math. You have to give presents to almost everyone that you know. And you are out of money to spend on video games. Or you just don't want to spend money on video games, which is probably why you're here where I will give you my top 10 video games which are free or free to play. There is a difference which I have previously explained. You can go check some other video some of my other videos out for that. So without further ado and in no particular order, my picks for the top 10 free slash free to play video games that I know of. So I'm gonna start this list off with what I consider to be the godfather of all free-to-play video games, which are not MOBAs, Team Fortress 2. Now, I don't really think that I should give a lot of explanation about why I picked this, but in case you've been living under a rock, I'm just gonna condense this. First-person shooter, very fast-paced, got great matchmaking, and overall, it is fun. And the fact that we recently had the Jungle Inferno update, I think you should really play it if you haven't so far. Next up, we have Crytek's Warface. Now, Warface is a really fun game. It's got PvE, Special Operations, PvP. Crytek doesn't really seem to give up on it anytime soon. But if you were to go in PvP, it, you know, you'd notice other players and those players and the only way to, well, compete with those other players would be, well, A, putting in a superhuman amount of time to get as good as those other players, or B, indulging in the microtransactions. Nevertheless, it's a pretty good game. Next up, we have Bethesda's Brink, which is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated video games of 2011. It has a story mode which you can play solo or co-op, but you know, 2017, most people are probably going to play it for the multiplayer. Plus, I really love the fact that these people nailed the shooting and the parkour, so I definitely think that you should go check it out. Plus, the fact that it's free, I'm just saying, it. you should spend some amount of time. Next up, we have Mon Combat Versus. Now, Gameloft has actually launched this game on PC, and just to make things official, we're gonna have a Steam release soon. And I played this game on this channel on PC before, and um, it's fun. I mean, they don't have the pay to win system anymore. I mean, that's what I think. You can get the agents in a reasonable amount of time with a reasonable amount of grind and the matchmaking has improved a lot now this game is probably the most optimized video game in this entire list because well this video game was originally developed for smartphones and it well you know it had an upgrade when it came to PC I mean, it does not sacrifice on the visuals, it's got great graphics, but it's still highly optimized. Next up, we have Dirty Bomb. Wow, that's four shooters in a row. Well, Dirty Bomb, it's also a class-based shooter. I mean, most free-to-play first-person shooters are going to be class-based. And, you know, each class has got interesting abilities and the fact that the developers are really dedicated to well, keeping the game balanced and fun you should check this one out as well next up on our list is warframe which is not a first person shooter and shame on you if you did not know what warframe is warframe is a massively multiplayer online it's an mmo yes but it's a third person shooter which has wait for it Space Ninjas with different abilities. It's got storyline and they got, wait for it, zombies. They just came out while I was making this video. I got the notification like a couple of seconds ago. Next up, we have Paragon. Now, I played Paragon on this channel before 
and it is one of the best no not one of the best it is the best MOBA that I have ever played and it is an honor for me to call a MOBA a good game I mean honestly that's just me being me but I don't like MOBAs they're way too slow but Paragon I mean I'm not saying it's fast paced it's great I mean it's not too slow it's not too fast character design is interesting and all that stuff but you know you should play it to know if you liked it I'm just saying but give it a try it's a pretty good game next up we have Unreal Tournament Reboot which is again a first person shooter but this time this first person shooter is not free to play it is free which is basically a way of saying that this game does not have microtransactions which is a pretty good move from Epic and also the fact that if you're an Unreal Engine 4 subscriber you can help develop Unreal Tournament next up we have Wildstar which is an MMORPG I mean and as far as MMORPGs are concerned this is a pretty good one I mean that's all that I can really say because it does everything that an MMORPG does a lot better than I've seen other MMORPGs do and I mean I spend most of my time in war plots and I'm kind of sure you do that too because it's like a massive PvP situation it's chaotic and that chaos is what I dig and finally we have deceit now deceit I mean if this was an order top 10 I'm kind of sure deceit would land somewhere around number two or three the reason that it would not be on number one is because uh, well the player base is kind of short due to the fact that this game is not getting enough attention and it deserves all the attention that it can get now you're going to have six players with you two of them will be in this two of them will be infected four of you will be considered innocent players goal of the innocent players is to get out of the get out of the facility alive goal of the infected players is to stop them but it is not just an asynchronous multiplayer experience because well you're supposed to blend in the infected players are supposed to blend in with the um, innocent players and they're supposed to get their blood bar up and when it slides out the infected players show their beast form and you know do their thing and kill innocents that's about the size of it make sure you hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff make christmas merrier for me honorable mentions will be in the comment section because putting them in the main video is just too mainstream